two, one, go. I'm speaking this afternoon with Father Mark Bosco and with Elizabeth Kaufman, his uh, associate, and they've uh, just both spoken at American Women Writers National Museum in Washington, D.C., and I'm the founder of that. And Father Bosco and Elizabeth both spoke on Flannery O'Connor. Father Bosco, could you just do a little summary and uh, remarks about her work in your film? So uh, Elizabeth and I uh, produced and directed a film on Flannery O'Connor uh, on her life. We tried to look at a, her biography, why her story is so important. Um, and we also tried to do some deeper dives into some of her stories uh, so that people who are watching the film have a sense of the greatness of her writing. Um, and we also in, uh, finally uh, interview a lot of artists who find themselves very um, attracted and even changed by Fanny O'Connor's own art. So the, a lot of artists like Fanny O'Connor, so we want to make sure that was in the film too. The film's a 96 minute film, uh, and we're hoping, uh, to, we've shown it to, to a few places already, and it just won an award. Uh, the Ken Burns, the Le Levine Ken Burns uh, Award for Best uh, Film uh, at the Library of Congress. And you, uh, Father, forgot to mention that it's a $200,000 award, so it's uh, very, very impressive. Elizabeth, and Elizabeth, did you want to talk a bit about your part in the film? Uh, certainly. So I also am director, producer, writer, and I did some editing as well. And one of the challenges of our film is that there's only one interview of Flannery O'Connor, a short interview of her on television. Otherwise, they're just a few still photographs. So we did not have much footage to work with to do a feature documentary on her life story. So we took this as an artistic challenge and the fact that Flannery started as a cartoonist and got her creative children's books, we decided to hire some animators to um, illustrate excerpts from Flannery O'Connor's fiction. And so we have um, animations, we have some great archival footage from the, from the period in the era to complement uh, the interview with Flannery. Well, since American Women Writers National Museum obviously emphasizes American Women Writers, we're really happy that you came. We appreciate it so much, both of you coming. And uh, they also won the best documentary at the Austin Film Festival. And we wish you great luck, and I understand that your film's going to be shown around at various places and so people are watching the video just keep your eye on this website and we'll let you know where it's being shown. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.